Xander, you ready for this one? There's a guy, his name Dixon Jones. He is picking up little over one million cash dollars uh, near downtown. He goes there two hours from now. This job is simple for you. Get cash from him and bring to me at loading dock near port right after. I be there three hours. Don't be late. Questions? No. Good. In few minutes I text you address and vehicle make and model he will be in. I also text you picture of him. Don't lose these things. And delete this number and text after I hang up.
thumbs up. I double checked the cash. It's all here. This is good. Now I owe you. You stay safe out there, Marcus. Yeah. Thank you for coming by, Marcus. It's been crazy busy around here lately. Now, I know I asked you earlier, man, but how'd that job go with Caesar? You did a while back. It was fine. What do you want? <laughs> Typical Marcus, man. I like your style, man. Your sense of business. Always straight to the chase. Now, I know you're not going to ask me how things have been in my head. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll cut straight to the chase. I won't waste any more time. There's a man by the name of Brennan Boyd, ex-convict, bank robber, murderer, served 10 years in the state penitentiary for beating down a man with a metal bar. He also never paid me in full for a job we did down in South America. He owes me a lot of cash, old man. How much? Easy, baby. Don't worry about that. Word is him and his guys hit a casino and walked out with $12 million. Could have been more, man, but the cops showed up earlier than expected. This is a big money maker, Marcus. Something I know you'd want to be a part of. What's this? Everything you need to know about this guy. His picture, address. Warehouse where he does business from, how many guys got working for him, what he drives, his wife's middle name, everything. It's everything. If you know what I mean. What do you need it? As soon as possible. I told you I was going out of town in a couple weeks. And only call me if you have any questions. Once you get what I need, no evidence of this guy understood. Right on, Marcus. Always a pleasure to see you. I thought I heard you left town for good. Nah, I've been around. You know, you and I, we're, uh, we're in a risky business. Staying low key is not easy, especially around here. Do you remember what happened to that guy I hired to do that job up in Oakland? Yeah. I do. He was good at everything he did. Just like you. Uh, maybe a better driver, though. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Marcus. Lighten up a little bit, man. Now, you've come a long way from when you first started, and I commend you for that. I haven't seen too many people do that around here. But just don't get cocky, man, and you'll continue to do well. Don't you ever. Ever. Let's take my kindness for weakness. We good? Yeah, we're good. Well, and that's all I got, man.
Who is it? Rick. What type of job? Money deal. What's he offering? His typical. His typical? Yeah. His typical. It's getting late, and I gotta run to the airport to pick up Tommy. I don't really have time to discuss any of this. I'll call you later, okay? All right. Sure.
Why it hit me? Mm. <laughs> oh, I've never been any good this game, man. I try. I try pretty damn hard. <sighs> Y'all remember you giving me a few pointers back in the day, but I don't think it's paying any dividends. Maybe one day though, huh? So, when you leave town, not ten in a month. Hmm. Word. Guess that's when uh, business slows down for you. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I'm not always that busy myself. You know, my wife and kids they keep me plenty busy, and I and I like staying busy with work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Always a good thing. You know, making a steady income is a, is a necessity for me. And this business is tough, Marcus. Very tough business. I think about it from time to time. Get the fuck out. You know, maybe working something steady, something safe. People can get hurt. I know you know. You know I've been doing this since I was uh, age 17. Lost my youngest brother when I was 20. Julian. Yeah. Julian. You know, you shot by some of Victor's boys from south of the border. The deal we had lined up in Glendale. It's his fault, though. You know, I gave him his instructions perfectly, and he didn't listen. I know. I know you know, but the reason I bring this up right now is because I want us synchronized for this job and any job that we do in the future. You know, I tell this to anyone that I do multiple jobs with. I want to go home at the end of every job. We all do. Good. Good. That's rule number one. Always will be. I want that to be crystal clear from day one. Okay, so I know you called me about this deal with Ruben and Tijuana, right? And supposedly there's a warehouse with a pot of cash in it located Boyle Heights, Arts District, basically the East End LA? Yes. Okay, okay. And so this is supposedly vacant, this spot, right? Where they keep their goods, their drugs, their money, all nine yards? That's correct. So I know you got a 40% split with Ruben and you're going to take uh, his into the cash down and meet him, TJ. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm cool with it. You know, we can do uh, what we agreed to over the phone. If that's all you can do. Huh? <laughs> the 35% for me and the 65 for you? You know, I do got a wife and kids, yeah? family to support Mr. Single Man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> However, you know, we don't need to bring anyone else in on this deal at all. Just you and me, especially if this place is vacant. You know how fast I work. Mm -hmm. This is the place. That's it. Doesn't look like nothing special when you want to hit it. Within the next two days. Mm -hmm. Ruben wants the money early next week. Okay. Well, that should be plenty of time for us to prep. And I assume you already scouted the location, the streets, just in case 5 shows up. Of course. You know, if you can provide a floor plan, that would be very helpful, but not necessary. I mean, yeah, you know what, actually, and I, yeah, I know where the cash is located based on what uh, Ruben told you on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can make this happen. This is all doable. Absolutely. Check it out. If I'm not out of here in a few minutes, just take the fuck off, man. I find my own way home. And once we get that money, more importantly, once everyone gets that portion of the cash, we'll all be happy, right? You want this? Oof. 
read my mind. Mm hmm. It's good beer. You know, I love light beer. Always have. It's my favorite. I don't really drink dark beer, man. I've been drinking that shit for like 10 years. It makes me sick. My wife, she's got me on that rum and whiskey, though. Hard alcohol, I think that's probably number one. You know, keeps you sexy, keeps you thin, don't get too full. And beer's good, though. Every here and there. After a few rum and whiskeys. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, here's to a new endeavor.
you. should be pleased we didn't get hurt got what he wanted well i mean we got what we all wanted right no motherfucking cops showed up either yeah this should hold me up for the next little bit at least till the next gig gotta thank you man i really needed the money and you know vice versa man if i hear of any jobs that require your specific services i'll be sure to hit you up good jobs too man pay a good rate there's some cheap ass motherfuckers around here and i know you know who i'm talking about I try to rip you off Pay you half price. Sometimes don't pay nothing at all, man. Stupid, though. Reputation's everything in this city. She'll spread around like wildfire. Hey, you think this shit has changed in the last 10 years? People who come around from all over the country, trying to make a name for themselves, trying to live the dream? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Me, myself, I try to learn something new every day, man, whether it's about my job or this city. I make a point of it. Other motherfuckers just keep their head in the dirt, man. And they'll stay there. It's that choice. Cracks me up. All right. I'm a dip. I got shit to do with the crib. Few more business deals too down the pipeline. Hopefully they work out, and if they do, I'm gonna bring you on. But you know this city, a lot of talk, not a lot of walk. People managing all their bullshit, man, trying to have fun, trying to live under the sun. Anyway, call me. If I don't answer, leave a voicemail, man. My phone's always on me. Thanks again. These dads don't have nothing to offer. Good. Look, I'll help you and your brother with the dead, no one else. Marcus? Oh my gosh. I, I haven't seen you in forever. I, I, I didn't even think you lived here anymore. Where have you been? I've been here in town. Doing? Just working. Oh, okay. Well, don't be a stranger. I, you know, you should stop by the next time I have people over. I'm sorry, I haven't seen you in so long. I see, 
seriously thought you had moved. Listen, um, the next time I have a party, I'll, um, I'll give you a call or a little note on your doorstep. Thanks, yeah, I've uh, settled out of my mind recently at work. Oh, well, that's understandable. I'm sort of going through the same thing myself, uh, short-staffed at the office. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I'm taking care of my dad. He's getting old and not doing so well, so. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. It was really good to see you. It's good seeing you, too. I hope to see you again soon. Absolutely. Likewise. Take care. You, too. If you have a second. I got time. What's up? Just meet me outside my place about half an hour. All right, I could do that. Everything good with you? Yeah. Good. See you soon. Damn, man. People be really hitting you up left and right, huh? Kind of thought you was lying. I mean, I heard you was busy, but didn't know people were hitting you up every minute every day. Same shit. You said of people. Yeah, I feel that. This is one of Frank's jobs, though, huh? It is. When do you plan on doing this? In a few days. Look, I'm willing to work with you as always, but I'm gonna need at least one or two guys of my choice to contract on a job. It's okay. That's why I called you for this. Yeah, I mean, if there's supposed to be a grip of dudes in this warehouse, we're gonna need at least two or three guys total to make entry. Minimum. Deal? All right. Who do you have in mind? I got a few people, man. Let me, uh... Let me go through my Rolodex and narrow it down. How about I give you a call after that? I mean, most of these people Nixon referred to me. You probably know them. Okay. You know, every time that we work together, it's always ended up going well. And that means a lot to me. And you, my friend, are getting quite the reputation. I'm proud of you, and I want to keep things going in that same direction. But... I'm gonna need a higher cut. 60-40. I can work with that. Good. That's good, Marcus. This is an expensive fucking city. Remember that, okay? And I'm in debt. Bad debt. How so? Uh, Hector and his cousin, man. They helped pay off a few dues from the east side of the city that helped me run a job at the port. I owe those motherfuckers quite a few dollars. But I ain't heard Frank's name in a minute. I heard that motherfucker was laying low since the surgery, spending time with family. <sighs> He's a real fucking asshole. I never really liked him. Yeah, me either. But his jobs do bring in a lot of money. At the end of the day, I guess that's all that really matters, right? Yeah. Fuck all that bullshit, though, man. How's Stacy doing? She's good. Good. I'm glad, man. I'm, I'm really, really glad to hear that about her. My wife's been stressing me out a little bit lately. Ain't been doing too well in the money department. I'm trying to buy her a house. But I can't afford it. Only places you can afford are the surrounding areas outside of the city. And, and who the fuck wants to live in Santa Clarita, right? <laughs> anyway. Look. I got 
gotta go. It's late. We can talk tomorrow. Send me that picture. Floor plan of the warehouse. All that would be good. Cool. I'll see you later. busy, normal work stuff. Tommy's still offering you a job if you want it. We'll see. How's Vince? He's good. Surgery went well. Doctor said he will be fully recovered in six weeks. We're having his going away party next week. You should come. That's good. I'll see. Well, let's talk later. I gotta run. Okay. Talk soon, Marcus. they'll be the end of our business together. All right, Marcus, whatever you say. Just call me when you have my cash so we can meet up. guys they want to meet with you near Chinatown they they have two jobs I vouch for you they know your price they're paying full it's no problem but I wanted to speak with you before I move forward with them because I know we didn't talk much about cash you got from Dixon Jones but from what you tell me everything went pretty good right so I counting on you for this one go on okay so this jobs. There's two of them. First is driving job. It's easy for you, no problem. But second, a little bit more complicated. There is this man. They need you to track him down, bring him to them. This man, he hid it out for his father's business, caused it to crash. At the time, the cops, they were all over it. But now things a little bit more quiet. He owes them... Uh, explanation okay I'll hear what they have to say good good this is good opportunity for you Marcus eh, trust me there will be more work for you but these guys I want to help them because of contacts they have in New York City oh and thank you for collecting me giving me like, this very nice night uh, it's better that we talk in person much safer than on telephone
You know, this place used to belong to my grandfather. He used to use this place for his business, repairing shoes for big movie stars and movie productions. He had all the tools he wanted in here. All the big names in Hollywood would come and get their shoes G'd up, ready for their movie premieres. Shit, they'd even come and get shoes made. Custom made. Wow. I can see a lot of work coming from that industry just by itself. Yeah, the Hollywood industry was one of his biggest customers. On Fridays, they would have a huge line out the back door. Definitely their busiest day. I remember me and my cousins would come every once in a while, help out. Man, he made a shitload of money, man. So what happened to the business? Did it get passed on down the family or what? Nah, he sold it. Got too old to run it. Started having health issues with his heart and a bunch of other stuff. Family didn't want to take over the business. You have to have passion and dedication to run this. A lot of work, a lot of hard labor. But I'll tell you what, this business made him a lot of money. Gave him a good life. You know, bought his house when he was young. Bought any car he wanted. Me personally, I chose a completely different career, as you know. I can see. You know, my old man used to own a restaurant in the town we once lived in. Nice. Yeah. He never had any time to spend with me and my brothers, though. He was always working nonstop, seven days a week, just so he can bring in money to feed the family, you know what I mean? But he made ends meet. He always paid his bills on time. I remember as a kid, just seeing him going through a ton of stress, you know, the weight of the world on his shoulders. His whole thing was he wanted to own his own restaurant and run his own cards. That was his dream. At least that's what my auntie tells me. Yeah, nothing like working for yourself, that's for sure. Chris mentioned you wanted to talk about the job you guys did for me in Mexico. Yeah. Um, you know, Chris is a straightforward guy, as you know. He thinks we both deserve a second chance. I agree with him. I think we didn't fulfill the obligations on the previous job like you really wanted, so... What are you talking about? Of course you did. Really? Yeah. Don't listen to that bullshit. You guys did a great job. Everything came in on time, as expected. Listen, Chris knows how I work, man. We've done many jobs together. We go way back. And I trust his loyalty. He told you that, right? He did. Well, then he should know it went well in Mexico. Must have been a misunderstanding in his part, because if there was something wrong, I would have definitely let him know. But I think you and I can work together, man. I think we could work something out. Got a few things going on right now, but I'm waiting on a big money job. Then I could expand my business, invest, and run a good operation here. I hear you. Well, let's work something out. Oh, don't worry about it, man. We will. <laughs> Speaking of Chris, man, what's he doing these days? Chris is living up in the valley right now. He's working with a couple guys he met on a job in Philly. Is that right? Yeah, man. He's doing really good, though. He's just uh, spent a lot of time in a few different states, you know, networking, trying to bring in the big bucks. He's been putting a lot of energy and focus into uh, Chicago and Philly. That's good to hear. Sounds like he's on a good path. I worked in Chicago for a few years before coming to L.A. A lot of work there if you network and make a name for yourself. Kind of like here, but this city is where the hub is, man. It's where all the work is at. All the traffic, just like Miami, right? Absolutely. That's the reason why I'm here, man. Best place for taking scores. <laughs> Miami, been back and forth there. Not my cup of tea, you know? It's too fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either, man, but I'll take it over the cold snow any day. 
All right, man. I'll be giving you a call, man. I'll stay in touch. As soon as the jobs come through, I'll be reaching out to you. Sounds like a plan. Right on, man. Virgil, this is Marcus. Marcus, this is Virgil. You know, I know your face from somewhere, man. I'm pretty sure we worked together on a job maybe two years ago. Or, or yeah. Anyway, anyway, he's going to be helping us out. He knows Nixon. So here's the deal. If we're not out of here in three minutes or less, take the fuck off. We'll find our own ride home. Virgil and I have been over this so many times. Yeah, we got this, man. Should be pretty easy. In and out. I'm ready to go. Virgil, any further questions for Marcus? No explanation needed, which seems pretty fortunate. All right, let's hit it. Fucking went in there. It was 
was so fucking dark. I swear to God, Marcus, it was fucking pitch black. I don't know where fucking Vernus guys just jumped in and fucking shanked Virgil right in the fucking neck, man. I fucking shot at them and they fucking shot back. I just took the fuck off. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I really fucked this up, man. Everything was where you said it was. The floor plan, the cash, everything. It's just too fucking dark. It's so fucking dark. You, you can tell Frank. You can tell Frank that it was all my fault. I swear to God, Marcus, just tell him it was all my fucking fault. Just fucking take care of my kids. If something happens to me, man, I'm fucking sorry. Marcus, I'm fucking sorry, man. say man I'm sorry what are you gonna tell Frank I'm not sure yet we well, can tell him that I fucked it all up okay because I did you know y your hands are clean on this I'm not gonna hold you to anything I'm uh, I'll even help you get the money I, we had a deal I'm gonna get Frankie's damn money all right that's between me and him but our business is done now Who'd you fucking hire? Was it strange? Oh, you mean Virgil? Bro, I told you, man. I don't even know that motherfucker. He's Nixon set me up with him. Look, if you change your mind, call me. Look, you know where to find me, man. All right.
I got an idea of who it is. It's only one person who could have sent for the money. He knows we got the money, Jimmy. I got one of my guys working on it right now. He's gonna give me everything I need to know about this. Mm -hmm. I will. I'll make a few more phone calls and I'll get back to you with more info. Hey, you got a second? Well, someone knows about our little secret with the job we did in Vegas at the casino. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm gonna need your assistance in helping me find some addresses and phone numbers of someone. When do you have to pay, Frank? No. I think you're insane. You know, Frank is going to come down on you for not getting the cash. Who get his money? Frank cares nothing about anyone else. He will do whatever it takes to get what he wants. His reputation is not the best here. I don't know why you continue to work with him. Now, I'm sure that these other guys' people will come looking for you once they know he's dead and find out about Watts. Then Vernon's people and the cops next. None of this you care about. No. Seems like you need some time to think. I'm gonna get going and give you some space. Edwin, listen, I got a job for you. I just got off the phone with Vernon. He's supposed to give me five of 12 mil. Now I'm gonna send you and Marcus to go pick it up. Once you have the money, I want you to dump his ass and bury him where I told you. Then you bring me my money, understood? All right, meet me here when you're done.
This is real simple, Marcus. And I've been working on this for quite some time, so don't fuck it up. You're gonna deliver this bag at 11 o'clock sharp. You're gonna meet up with Clyde on 8th and Alameda. You'll have the money. Now, I put a little incentive in this briefcase for you. You can check it if you want, but I know you trust me. Oh, and by the way, Clyde's got some work coming up, and I'm sure he's gonna need a good driver like you. I put in a good word, but you don't have to thank me. You could thank yourself. After all, you're the one doing all the work. Do you have any questions for me, Marcus? <laughs> I didn't think so.
you, my guy? Why would I get rid of you? You're out of your fucking mind. Just bring my fucking money, Marcus. I'm done with you. You better look over your shoulder in this town. I know exactly where you live. You're a dead man. Bridge, same place we met there before. I'll drop your money and I gotta go. I don't want people telling me. All your money will be in there. Alright, sounds good. You let me know what you wanted to do with Frank later over the phone. Maybe I can help you out, even though it's none of my fucking business. But let's meet there in about half an hour. Anything else? No.
Oh, and I picked up some of my money from your boy. Oh, don't worry, you won't find much left of him. Give me a call as soon as possible. You have something of mine and I have something of yours. Call me so we can negotiate. Bye. Safe place. Stacy's right here, man. She's fine and in good health, and I want to keep it that way. As long as you do what I say. Marcus, are you, are you there? Things will be fine as long as you cooperate. Let's say we settle this once and for all. I don't want things to get out of hand. Meet me at Twins in an hour and a half. You be there with my money. I release the girl. See you then. delivered a message. They're releasing Stacy on Anderson and Boyd by the 4th Street Bridge. I never said she'd be here with me. Now I hand over the money. <laughs> 